Hello. Well, as Halloween gets closer and the month of October comes to an end, uh, looks like I'll only have a couple more of these uh, <clears throat> videos for the month. I plan to do at least one more on uh, Halloween day, so Wednesday, hopefully. Um, all goes well. And according to plan. Um, but today I have another, I have more news regarding Friday the 13th, and it's nothing with the lawsuit. Uh, I think until any more information about that comes, like it's settled and things are going to get moving and whatever or what. Though I guess that could par put a, be part of this. I'm going to talk about, and that's basically LeBron James wants to produce a Friday the 13th film. Yes, the very LeBron James, who is or was a professional basketball player. I believe he's retired, if uh, my memory serves. But anyway, yeah, he wants to produce a Friday the 13th film. Now, he's been in some stuff. Uh, a don't recall seeing him in anything, though I do know he's supposed to be in the Space Jam remake. Um, or not remake, the sequel. Apologies. Yeah, the sequel to Space Jam. Um, to which I'm like, um, okay. I guess. But he also wants to you know, produce movies, and he wants to produce Friday the 13th because he loves horror films, he loves Jason Voorhees, and uh, seems as if he loves the franchise as a whole, um, amongst other things. And quite honestly, I'm not really sure what to think. Um, I'm not going to read it from any articles, because I've read many articles, though I will leave a link to the Bloody Disgusting page. Uh, or article that discusses this, not page, but whatever. You know what I mean? And basically, I don't really know what to think. I'm not sure I would want to see a film that he produced that's Friday the 13th, and yet I also want to see a new Friday the 13th film. Like, the only reason why is because like I, there hasn't been any notable film, at least that I'm aware of, that, you know, he's made and is seen as generally good by pretty much anybody that's seen it, or just on average. So that's one thing, you know, he hasn't produced something or made something uh, a real note worthy, in my opinion, that I, or at least that I have seen. Maybe you've seen something that proves this. I know some are like, he has, he has money. He's got a lot of money, so why not? And uh, I suppose that's true, but still, it's like, you know, you gotta be careful when you're a fan of something and you're gonna produce a film uh, that's part of a franchise or doing a remake or a sequel to such a film that either doesn't have sequels or could have had more sequels or is a remake or a reboot of some sort. You, know, you gotta be careful, even if you're a fan. Because even though you're a fan and you wanna do justice and you wanna you know, you hear what people want and all this and then what you want. Try to cooperate. The thing is, you're not going to please everybody, you know. Um, that's one thing. And, um, yeah, I don't have. Uh, I'm going to see if he has, um, what exactly he has actually been in. Because I know he's been in some stuff. Oh, he still is playing. Never mind. Yeah. Still is playing. Well, one of these ar articles said he wasn't, so... I don't know. Uh, he was in Trainwreck. Well, I've never seen that. So, uh... Hair mixed things, really. Um... Yeah, I, 
I've heard mixed things about, you know, train wreck. I know it's critically acclaimed, but and he play himself. Yep, yeah, he played himself. So I, I don't know. I, I might, you know, it's you know, playing yourself wouldn't seem to be all that hard to do. Granted, it's fictional. It's a fictionalized version of yourself, but still, you have to act. And um, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything he's really been in at all. You know, the other stuff, uh, shows or movies, uh, I've never really heard of. Or if I had, they were just something at the moment that just came and went. So, yeah, I didn't recognize any of the others. But still, you know, playing himself um, on the acting end, I don't know. I don't know if he's good or not. Um, but still, I don't know, he's, he's like, oh, he's not really acting. He, he's not saying he wants to be in it. He just wants to produce it. But still, you know, as a producer, producers often, you know, they have the money. They raise the money. They've got it. They're often all, also on set. So even though he's not the director, in a way, he wants to see how his money is being used. Executive producers are the like the producers who are behind the scenes, back wherever they live, handling business stuff. They're the, the producer with the business. They like handle everything that could possibly be uh, complicated. That uh, doesn't exactly need the people producing the film who are on set with all the actors and directors and all those guys. They don't need to worry about this. They've got this. That's essentially what that's all about. Like, say, George Lucas. Uh, you know, I'm sure not everybody, of all of you, like Star Wars, but still. You know, it's like George Lucas. He's the, you know, he was executive producer on the Star Wars films. He handled all the business aspects of the producing uh, side. Uh, though he was also very heavily involved with them. In the movies he didn't direct, but still, he... Uh, you know, even that he still had money he helped. You know, he like financed it. You know, but typically, but he's like an exception to that. He's like an actual producer, what LeBron James would be. Though, to those films, he wasn't on set every single day of shooting. You know, but yeah. Anyway, that's basically what a producer does. They're on set. They watch, see how all everything goes, making sure the money is being well spent, spent on how they talked about to the director, writer, and all those guys. And like the vision is being out there that everyone wants to make it. So uh, I don't know. You would probably put you have good input on it. And again, you know, he's a fan of horror, fan of. Friday the 13th and Jason Voorhees, but still, it's like, uh, how, how, you know, how much, you know, uh, would he really put himself into the making of the movie? How much input would he have on it? You know, how much control would he basically have? Would he be one of those producers that would let the director have the creative vision, let them make the film that you want to make, that also, like, the producers who are going to back the movie, you know, yeah, we agree with this, yeah, and you can do it. We'll be there, to, we'll watch, see how it all plays out, and make sure financial troubles are under control, won't have to have any real worries. You know, that kind of thing, or will he try to make it his version, you know, I guess you could say sort of being a backseat director. Again, I'm not going to accuse him of one or the other, but I'm just curious exactly how involved would he be. That's the question I want to, I'm, I'm curious about, that's the question I want to, you know, raise, because I'm not somebody who's got a lot of money, let's go all in. Let's let him do it. Um, those worries all aside, even if I didn't have any of those, 
let's all pretend we didn't, there's that lawsuit that still is going on. And uh, the ownership of the original film, and who owns that? As of now, it's Victor Miller, but still, you know, the appeal is all that is in talks and in the probably in the works. So even if all that, with all this stuff going on, it doesn't seem like a studio wants to produce a single Friday the 13th film at all. I believe Warner Brothers owns it, and they're going to be producing it, or releasing it at least, and distributing it. Until all that's resolved, I don't know any film will come out of the Friday the 13th franchise. I really don't. I don't see it happening uh, until it's resolved. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I just don't see it happening at all until it's all resolved. Unless the very unlikely scenario, they say, go on and make a movie without us. Uh, and, you know, Sean Cunningham is the be the producer and uh, his company would produce it. He seems to be the one who wants to make it. I don't know if you could do that, if he would be able to focus on a movie helping James produce it, while also simultaneously being involved with the lawsuit, because this is really him. Him, really. I mean, yeah, it's Horror Inc. versus Victor Miller, but it really seems to be him and representatives of Horror Inc. are talking out, not Sean Cunningham. So it seems like Sean Cunningham's focus is on the lawsuit and will not be really at a uh, Friday the 13th film until all of this is wrapped up. You see the kind of conundrum and sort of problem I'm having with all this. Even though, yes, right now, yes, it's all settled. Victor Miller was the winner of that lawsuit. Be prepared for an appeal, and it's like, now is not the time exactly to have this stuff come out and be announced. Yeah, I just don't think it was entirely wise, but who knows, maybe this could be a good thing, you know. All that being talked about, maybe this would put some pressure onto a deal to be made. No stupid uh, countersuits or whatever, no stupid taking two, three more years of no Friday the 13th movies when one could have been made by now, you know, none of that nonsense. That could happen. Pressure could be put on uh, Sean Cunningham. This is really seems to be all on him. He's the one that did this. You know, what usually happens in that situation, in this kind of situation, as I've said before, with writers wanting to claim copyright and ownership of the copyright, and this is only for the U.S., too. So it's not like the entire world, where every single country that the film would be in, or has ever appeared in, he would own that, you know. It's only in the U.S., but, you know, again, I guess the U.S. is the biggest market for Friday the 13th, so it's the biggest with the most money in terms of ownership of uh, DVD, Blu-ray sales and all that. You know, deals are usually made. Sean Cunningham, I've said before, shot himself in the foot with this, and now he lost. And it seems very... Uh, his likelihood of winning this new, this countersuit, if it does go forward, his chances of winning that are uh, slim. Uh, slimmer now, you know. So, all that said, could good come out of this? Sure. Could LeBron James help produce a good Friday the 13th movie? Sure. Still, it's like, you know, how big of a role will he have? Will he insert himself a whole lot? Will he let the producer or the director do their thing? Let them have the vision? And, you know, and the vision, you know, would align with what he would like to see and help back that? Or what, you know? Yeah. We don't know. I, I haven't really... Again, I have not seen anything he's done. So I guess in a way, I can't really accurately say whether this would be good or not. I'm not going to say, I guess I really can't say that, but still, it's like, you know, he's really just played himself pretty much, and he hasn't produced anything of real note, uh, film or television, at least not that I'm aware of. If he has, you know, you, know, you can say, hey, he produced this. 
already produced that. And they might take a look at it, or at least look into it, see just how people respond to that movie or TV show he produced, and hey, you know, maybe my faith in that will be bigger, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If he does produce it, I hope uh, uh, the film that he'd produce would be good. Then again, I, that's really what I hope for all movies that I would see. I hope they'd be good. I don't want garbage. I don't like watching garbage. That sucks. I think everybody can agree with that, though. Anyway, uh, link to that uh, really disgusting article is in the description. That's all I really got for now. So, until next time, have a good day, have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.